I want you to think of one person, the very thought of whom makes you cringe with anger. One person you utterly despise. It could be someone who is in your family, someone living next door, or someone from the pages of history. But that person has made your life or the lives of countless people miserable and whose misdeeds are enough to bring that anger from inside you and you go on with rage and you want to shout out at that person. You want that person to not exist at all or you think that that person should not even have been born at all. How old is that person? Is that person 35? Is he or she 45? 50, 70, whatever is that person is, go back. Go back a few years and think about what that person must be like. For example, if that person is 45 years old, think of how that person would have been at age 35. What were the activities that that person was involved in? What was his or her behavior? Maybe there is a lot of similarity go back further. Go back to a time when that person was 25 years old. How different was that person? Was he or she any different? Go back. Go back to a time when that person was 15 years old. Think of how that person must have been if you do not know that person. Go back to when that person was 10 years old. Do you think that person was still as mean as he or she is now? Or is the image of that person the same? Go back further five years. Can you hate a five-year-old child? That that very 45-year-old monster had been. Think about how he or she was at five years old. Would you still hate that person? Now try to create a path. Try to create a timeline of events that person went through. What determined who he or she is now? Or what determined what he or she became at the end of his or her life? The fact remains that we recognize that individual for his or her misdeeds but we do not reflect upon how that person's childhood must have been in a similar note think of a person who is highly successful eminent person who you look up to who is your role model in life think of how that person is at present and go back to history and think about how that person must have been as a two-year-old, a three-year-old, or maybe a five-year-old. And with these two people in your mind, compare the two-year-old good person, your role model, versus that monster who was also a two-year-old at one point in his or her life. What differences are there? Of course, there were some differences, maybe we are all different, but the differences were minuscule when they both were two years old. But the differences became large as they grew up. What determines what kind of person we become? What determines whether we become good, bad, successful, failure? What is it that determines our future? our paths in life and there is only one answer and that is our upbringing the way we are raised as children based on the interactions we have in our family and outside based on the circumstances we face based on what we learn and what we perceive what we see what we observe what we are taught and what life teaches us Therefore, parenting is the most important thing for so many of us. In life, we often think about being good individuals, successful people, and trying to achieve so many things. 
But one benchmark or one indicator we fail to recognize in ourselves or we fail to track is how good a parent we've been. We take it for granted and we assume that we are wonderful parents and our children will walk our steps or at least get the best in their lives. But have we been investing time on our children? Parenting is the single most important leadership process. If you are a parent, it is important that you become a good parent and you take care of your children and you work on making your child an amazing individual. Therefore, parenting is something that we all should scientifically study, observe and try to make out the best because we want the best children for every evil person, every failure, every maniac, every person who's committed suicide, every kind of individual was once a child. And as a child, it is up to us how we create that child's journey, that child's life.